Let's add the fractions 1 half plus 2 thirds. Then I'll show you an easy way to check your work. What we need to do when we're adding fractions, we need to find a denominator that's the same for both of these numbers. So we're looking for the lowest common denominator. It looks like 2 would go into 6 3 times, 3 would go into 6 twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 3 times 2. That'll give me 6. But I can't just multiply 3 times 2. I have to do that to the top and the bottom. Now I have 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 half and 3 6, they're equal to the same decimal, 0 0.5. But now I have that denominator 6 down here. For 2 thirds, I'm going to multiply 3 times 2, so I can get a denominator of 6. But I also have to multiply the top by 2. 2 over 2, it's just 1. I'm not changing anything. But now, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3, that's 6. So I have the same denominator here. And now I can just add the numerators. 3 plus 4 is 7. And then we bring the 6 across. 7 6. So 1 half plus 2 thirds, that gives you 7 6. Here's a quick way we can check our work. I could multiply 1 times 3. That would give me 3 plus 2 times 2. That gives me 4. And then for the denominator, I'm going to multiply the denominators. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 plus 4, that gives me 7. And then I have 6 here. Same answer as we got before. One last thing. This is an improper fraction. The 7, that's larger than the 6. Let's change it to a mixed fraction also. So 6 goes into 7 one time with 1 left over. So we have 1 and 1, 6. You can check that. 1 times 6, that's 6 plus 1 is 7. So 7, 6. This is Dr. B adding the fractions 1 third plus 1 half. Thanks for watching.